Looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now? Look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Coin Bank, guys. You seriously cannot beat that value. I promise. Use code Poodle for 5% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got Team Diamonds 2 finally did release. You guys should have seen the, um, the release last night. And if you didn't, then in that case, guys, here you go. You're going to see everything as of now live in the game. Definitely excited to go through all this, check out the missions list, check out all the stuff. Um, the LTD for Mud Heroes that come out today. We have quite a few things to go over. And honestly, surprisingly, here's the thing. For this point in the game, I did not expect this much like content to be coming out at this point. I'm kind of impressed. At the same time, they're putting minimal effort into like, you know, daily streams and daily content. So it kind of evens out, you know what I mean? But at least we're getting promos, right? Keeping people at least a little interactive. Although it's not so much interactive promos, it's more just kind of like, you know, like giving a kid like a, a bottle as a baby, just like here. There you go. Like, that's kind of what it is. They're not really playing with us. You know, they're just handing us something to distract ourselves. But can't complain too much, right? So let's start with the missions list. Team Affinity, as you can see, is new here. So uh, let's go down to theme, uh, sorry, Team Diamonds 2. I'm oh, sorry. Team Diamond Series 5 is what it's going to be called. Okay, so reach Mutt level 30 is all you got to have to have. it. Now, complete Team Diamond challenges. Complete all 32 challenges to earn a Team Fantasy Pack. Choose a team to get nat versions of that set. So essentially, guys, if you do the challenge, you're going to get one Nat Fantasy Pack. Now, you will not get the top player. You will get the most well, the top player in their set. So technically, you'll get the most expensive piece for free. So the player is going to essentially become a lot cheaper to create, right? So that's pretty cool as well. So if we go into solos, you know, all the way down to Team Affinity, unless they put it up here for the time being, nope. You'd think they'd do something like that, right? Toss it to the top, relevant solos. So Team Builders, uh, let's see, let's see, Team Diamond Series 5. As you guys can see here, these are the games right here. It is not full games. You just have to score three passing touchdowns in this one. The next one, score two rushing touchdowns. So they're all objective-based, which is pretty cool. Shouldn't take, you know, forever. And then, of course, I don't know how you check the milestones in this one. I guess, you know, you just know by the other stuff. But if you play through all the way... Oh, my Lord. So, yeah, I don't think like this... I don't think this missions list is, like, relevant exactly to what we're looking at. So don't really focus on that. Just know that if you play through them at the end, you will get it from the objective list. And if you want to know your progression, you can go to the objective list and check it there. But pretty much, you got to play the 32 of them, right? It's pretty self-explanatory. Now, let's head over to the sets and go through the players. Excited to show you guys exactly what we got today. So, sets. Uh, let's see. Team Affinity. All the way down here. Team Diamonds. Team Diamond Series 5. For the Bears, Kyle's Long. Opinions. Good lineman. Not going to be something special, but definitely, you know, decent. Willie Anderson. Good lineman as well. I'll go through the stats later, but I want to give you my opinions on each team. Daryl, Tally, don't know him personally, but not to linebacker for a Bills team team could be nice. Julius Thomas, I actually really like. I've not seen his stats yet. I do want to check him out. I was a big fan of Julius Thomas in the older Madden days when he was having his, like, run on the Broncos. Braylon Edwards for the Browns is actually pretty cool. Okay. Paul Gruber, left tackle for the Buccaneers. A lot of linemen. David Boston, uh, wide receiver for the Cardinals. Don't know him personally. Like I said, I'm not, I don't know, like, their, what their stats look like. Lorenzo Neal, I remember back in Madden 13, I had like his ghost of uh, ghost of pass card. That was pretty cool. Lorenzo Neal is a good fullback, but of course he's the fullback. Eric Berry, cool one for the uh, Kansas City theme teams. Johnny Unitas, quarterback for the Colts. That's pretty cool. Des Bryant, I know Zerk's happy about that one. Wide receiver for the Cowboys. Brent Grimes, cornerback. He's usually on the slower side, but Brent Grimes is always a cooler cornerback to have. David Akers makes a return. Kicker for the Philadelphia Eagles. That's pretty cool. Michael Turner, halfback for the Falcons. That one's cool as well. Charles Haley, outside linebacker for the Niners. Mark uh, Bavaro, tight end for the Giants. Pretty cool. We just got shocky, so I wish they would have went another direction for tight end at least. Marcus Stroud, defensive tackle, 98 overall. Uh, Mark Gastineau, left end for the Jets. Chris Spielman, middle linebacker for the Lions. Sterling Sharp. Okay, that's a cool one, actually. I've been waiting for a Sterling Sharp card. Mike Minter. Matt Light, Darius Hayward Bay, DeMarco Farr, Peter Boulevard, Russ Grimm, Sammy Knight for the Saints, Sean Springs, Dree Archer. That card's going to be fast. Dunta Robinson, Kyle Vanden Bosch, Antoine Winfield. Now, we actually have, you know, Antoine Winfield, his son, Jr., is actually on the Buccaneers. Won a Super Bowl, I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken. So that's pretty cool, too. The father's in the game now. Let's go check out the auction block, see some of these stats as well, and see if that LTD is up on the block as well. Let's start with looking for the um, the LTD. Kind of curious to see if he is on the block. And, of course, we'll, we'll wrap our way back around shortly. I just don't know the overall of what the LTD was. I forgot if it was a 97 or 98. I'm assuming it's a 97, so we'll start there. Let's go to Mud Heroes. Where is it? Mud Heroes. Oh, there it is. Okay, let's see. Let's start by newest. Uh, I mean, you guys know the deal with these, right? You guys know how this stuff works. Typically, you're not going to see it right away unless it's 98. I'm in the wrong filter. Let's check that real quick. 
It would make sense. Yes. Okay. I had a feeling it was 98. Okay. Jalen Smith, middle linebacker, 98 overall for the Cowboys. Let's check out these stats. Let's see what we're dealing with. 94 speed at linebacker. Kind of an L. It's going to be good. He's going to get up to 90, 97 uh, speed, but I was kind of hoping it would be 98. But 98 speed, 97 Excel, still really good. I mean, sorry, 97 speed, 97 Excel, pretty good. Tackling's going to be 97. Play Rex and we were on the 90, probably 99 range, put locked on. So 99. His block shed's actually pretty decent. 87. Hit power's gonna be 98. And his zone will be 99 as well. So have a 99 zone, have good speed. But of course, he's a linebacker, so that's going to limit how much people actually like like him. Because of course, linebackers aren't exactly the most favored positions this year. Them and defensive tackles have been pretty much just kicked out of Madden. It's kind of been the deal this year. So the fact that it's a linebacker definitely does hurt the prospects of having a Jalen Smith card. Change of direction 87. That's kind of low too for usering purposes. That's part of the reason why people opted for safeties as well. But yeah, I mean, Jalen Smith, he's not exactly the greatest, so I wouldn't look too much into him. His pressure start dropping pretty rapidly because of his position and then, of course, because of his stats as well. But yeah, let's head over to uh, Team Diamonds 2. Is there going to be... A, I see the Team Diamonds one, but I didn't want to... Oh, they're all different overalls. won't even matter. All right, Julius Thomas. Definitely want to check his stats out. Uh, let's see. 92 speed on Julius Thomas. That's kind of low. He's going to get up to 95 speed, though, which is okay. But same thing as Shockey, which I was kind of knocking the other day. Um... Decent, you know, good for a Broncos team team. Mark Bra Bavaro, Bavaro. I knew he was going to be slow. 89 speed, way too slow. Not a usable tight end, although he does get 90 run blocking probably. So, okay, the only way you like this guy is if you make him your second tight end, right? You make him your second tight end in running schemes and you put a zone run on him or whatever, get his run blocks to a 90, and it'll be an extra lineman actually, which actually be pretty cool. You get him in another tight end, you could have like seven linemen across the front, which actually isn't horrible. And then, of course, as we do go on down, uh, we have Braylon Edwards. Check him out. Let's see. Wide receiver for the Browns. 96. I knew he was going to be fast, too. That's why I said he looked pretty good. Uh, 96 speed. He will get 99 speed, as well as 99 deep route running, as well as 99 short route running, 99 medium route running, uh, 99 catch and traffic, I believe. This card's going to be really good at 6'3". Braylon Edwards is one of the best wide receiver in the game. That's pretty cool. Change of direction above a 90. Trucking above a 90. Juke above a 90. Stiff arm going to be a 95. Break tackle near 95. Guys, Braylon Edwards is a really, really good card. Um, any other interesting ones? Johnny Unitas. Let's see him. 87 speed. Okay, and he's a field general. This is what I was talking about yesterday when I said guys like Dak Prescott, a few of those guys, I was like, they're good, but we'll get a field general at speed near that soon, right? Johnny Unitas gets 90 speed, 99 throw power, 99 throw short, 99 throw medium, 98 throw deep, 99 throw under pressure, and he's a field general. This is a great quarterback card. A super great quarterback card. Change of direction, 84. Of course, his, you know, his running stuff isn't great. He's just going to have speed to be able to take off when you do need him. And he's also six foot one, which is, a, I guess, a decent height. You know, not too tall, not too small. Somewhere in between, which isn't horrible. Uh, let's see who else is on here. Darius Hayward Bay is super fast as well. If I'm not correct. If I'm not wrong. Yep, 99 speed. He's going to have 99 speed without even sprinter, guys. This card is really good. Darry, uh, Darius Hayward Bay, 99 speed. He's going to have 99 deep route running, 99 medium route running, and 98 short running. This card's great. Change of direction, going to be 93. Chukin, going to be 95. This card's good. going to be a great card as well. Yeah, if you guys remember, I think he has one of like the records for uh, the 40-yard dash, which is well, I kind of knew he was going to be good. Sean Springs, let's check him out. He's going to be 6 feet. Okay, he's going to have oh, kind of 9. Wow, this is good. Some good cards, guys. 99 speed cornerback. That's it. I told you guys the, 90, the, the reign of 99 speed was going to start coming soon consistently, and there, and there it is. These are blowing away other cards. We just got the Raw Revis with a 95 speed, but we get we get Sean Springs with a 97, right? Right off the rip. And now I can get 99 as well. So, yeah, these cards are going to be game-changing, right? Jerry Archer. Ooh. Maybe 99 base. Yeah, not, yeah, 99 base. Powered up in Kemdo can have a 99 uh, speed, 99 Excel, 99 agility, 99 change of direction probably. Above 80 catching. That's the best back in the game. 99 break tackle more than likely. Best back in Madden 21, guys. Hands down. I don't care about trucking personally. So the fact that he can break tackles with going to be a 99 break tackle with above 80 catching with 99 speed Excel and agility, guys, this is going to be the most agile card in the game while also being the speediest card in the game. I think Jerry Archer is crazy. This, this is a crazy card. But yeah, guys, about it. If you got, remember, guys, I did tell you about the set thing. So if you guys didn't know, when you go to sets, you get the free player. So you're going to click on the sets. That top player, like the highest overall player in that pack, I'm pretty sure is the one you get for free. So make sure you go play your solos and get that done. But yeah, guys, about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. If you haven't already, subscribe, turn on that notification bell. And of course, uh, head over to Muckcoin Bank and use code Poodle at checkout. That's about it. I'm out. Peace.